Assange faces up to 175 years in prison for publishing classified documents exposing U.S. war crimes. Well, for more on this, we can speak to the director of that documentary, Kim Staten, who joins me live in the studio here. Welcome to BBC News. Um, what attracted you to this particular story? Why did you decide to make this documentary? Well, uh, I felt that um, there was what was lacking amongst documentaries that have been made on this topic is a film that really focuses on the meaning and interpretation and what we can learn from this predicament and how we can solve it. What can we learn? Well, we can learn that the um, U.S. government has smeared and uh, used lawfare to undermine the character um, and the, the bank balance of Julian Assange and WikiLeaks. Um, they've been running a campaign for 13 years now uh, of arbitrary detainment in one form or another in order to put WikiLeaks and Julian Assange out of action uh, because I, I feel that they're afraid of... Uh, the news that, that WikiLeaks is capable of bringing to the world. It exposed a lot of information that a lot of governments didn't want the world to see, but the means in which it was done broke the law. Yeah, well, this is the sticking point, I suppose. Um, I think that when Julian Assange formulated the innovation of WikiLeaks, he realised that there was rampant corruption in the world and the governments were hiding things from us. And what we have to keep in mind here is that these are crimes that he exposed, that WikiLeaks exposed, uh, war crimes, genocide, environmental crimes, crimes of corruption. And the big question that people need to ask uh, ourselves is, should we classify these kinds of crimes? Should, should crimes have a red stamp on them and then be hidden away from the public? I guess what some people would say is shouldn't he go to the US and clear his name in a court and, and let the world hear what he has to say? Well, that would be the case if it was a, a, a fair trial that was expected and if the charges against him were um, genuine and valid, which I, I don't think that they, that I don't feel that they are valid. OK, Kim Staten, director of The Trust Fall, uh, which is out uh, Later in the month, is that right? 15th of March. 15th. In thank UK. you very much for joining us here on BBC News. My pleasure, thank you. Well, there's more, of course, on that uh, court hearing and that extradition appeal on the BBC News website. We are running a live page with updates, so you can go to the website to see more on that. I'll be back after a short break. I'm Regina Vivian Arden. Do stay with us.